Falls. These are the materials needed in completing our activity in science. Find sun, ruler, folder, and last is newspaper. After performing this activity, we will describe the appearance of a fold and explain how a fold forms. So let's get started! First, spread the newspaper on a table. Second, arrange the two sheets of cardboard edge to edge. Third, fold sun along the boundary of the two sheets. Number four, with the ruler, flatten the top of the sand and make two parallel lines. Now, move the two sheets slowly in the direction shown in the figure three. This is an example of a strike slip fault of an earthquake. Processing questions. Question number one. As you move the sheets, what is formed in the sun? As I move the sheets, a fold is formed in the sun. Question number two. What happens to the lines? The lines was cut in half. Lastly, we will answer the question we talked about a while ago. Number one. Describe the appearance of a fold. A fold is a zone of fractures or a fracture between two pieces of rock. Folds enable the blocks to move in relation to one another. This movement can occur quickly in the form of an earthquake or slowly in the form of a creep. Folds can be as short as a few millimeters or as long as a thousand of kilometers. Number 2. Explain how a fault forms. It develops when rock above a plane of an angled fracture it slides along the rock on the opposite side of the fracture. Divergent plate borders, such as those beneath the ocean where new crust is formed, are frequently where normal faults are found. As a result of typical faulting, long, deep valleys can also develop. Ha <laughs> ha